In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a neon or a glowing effect in the background. As you can see here, I've added some kind of some uh, lighting effect or the glow effect here. And here I have added one a black background with some uh, kind of my own infographics I have added. So how the slide works is when I click, you can see here it started glowing. You can see here how it works. And similarly, I have added few more slides where you can just add your headline and the same you can see here this particular effect I have created in the background and here I have made it somewhat smaller and you can add your own text or any image and then you can uh, present it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code. You can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to a black color. For that, right mouse click, go to format background and I can choose the black color. Then go to insert shape, uh, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle make this a little bit curved at the corners and make sure to align center and align middle and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to add few more rounded corner rectangles you can see here and then i'm going to give them a gradient fill for that first of all go to shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill here by default i have added two gradient fill that's the reason it is coming or you can just change your own colors also for example the first gradient stop i'm going to colors more colors and i would like to give a kind of uh, say pink click ok and here i would like to give uh, some kind of a turquoise color here okay and click ok so i end up getting a shape uh, the color something like this you can see here now once you get this color you have to go to the effects go to the soft edges and increase the size you can see here increase as much as you can okay till it looks like a gradient color here so just put it like this and then send this to back all right now this particular color i'm going to change to black color all right so it looks something like this you can see here all right now press ctrl d to duplicate now i'm going to change some other colors again go to more color now i would like to give a kind of uh, orange all right with some different color combination whichever combination which you feel it will go with it for example let me just go with the green i don't know how it looks but let me just try all right and then again if you want to change the direction also you can just change the direction the way you like all right now again i'm going to send this to back so you can see here it looks something like this all right and let me just add two more if you want you can increase the size also here so it does not need that okay you need to keep only this much so here again now i'm going to give some different color combination uh, i would like to use uh, some kind of uh, say a uh, red all right and i would like to use some other color so depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give a kind of a light purple all right again if you want you can add this one further and then i'm going to select this one and send this to back so you can see here i've got this color combination again if you want you can just increase the size so it comes like this all right so now once this is done what you can do is either you can add any text here for example you can go to insert text box you can add for example headline here because it is not visible because of the black font i'm going to make it white font increase the size all right or if you like to add any image here also that also can be done so depending on the requirement you can do and then the last thing which you can do is do the animation part for that go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this one add animation go to more emphasis effects here and i would like to choose pearls okay and click ok double click this one and go to the timings make it maybe medium and repeat until end of the slide click ok 
so you can see here it works something like this now again i'm going to select this one click on the animation painter and click on this part again click on the animation part and the last one and make sure this all should happen with previous all right now if i play it looks something like this you can see here and if you want you can just adjust the timings okay so here one should happen uh, a, a, a bit delay okay so when i click you can see here it's not happening at the same time it's happening something like this so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options or different colors also you can choose